Hey guys, Meet Ronald's Chris Tomer here with this Friday morning mountain weather update. I want to go to Colorado first. This is a Loveland ski area. Up on the Continental Divide, it is a beautiful morning in Colorado. I really don't have anything significant as far as snow in the immediate forecast. It's possible tomorrow we get a dusting like a tenth to a half of an inch over some of the mountains of Colorado. Um, but that's it for the immediate forecast. We're going to have to look down the road. But a really nice morning here in Colorado at uh, Loveland Ski Area. Here's the, the radar across the west. There is a storm system. There's not a lot to this thing moving out of California and into Nevada. Uh, but this one is, is going to affect the Wasatch, the Tetons, the rest of Idaho and Montana, but it's going to largely dry up before it arrives in Colorado. And again, we might have a dusting out of this tomorrow as it passes through Colorado. All right, let me set the table here on the water vapor satellite imagery this morning. So your drier air aloft is in the oranges and the reds, the moisture aloft, and you can kind of see this area of low pressure right here, is in the whites and the blues, and there's a little bit of moisture with it, not a lot with this thing, but it's gonna be kind of cruising through here and passing to the north of Colorado. That's why the chances are actually pretty low for accumulating snow tomorrow there. But yeah, I'm looking for moderate accumulations this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow morning, and I'll show you uh, the Wasatch's forecast in the Wasatch. I'm also expecting light to moderate accumulations for the Tetons as the storm system passed through. And then you can see the flow behind it. It's pretty strong, and there is additional energy upstream that will play into the forecast. All right, so here's my latest snow timeline. Best odds of snowfall for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, and Interior BC. So for example, in the Wasatch, this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow, light to moderate accumulations, light to moderate at 1118 and 1119. In Colorado, your best chance of snow, again, maybe light or a dusting tomorrow afternoon, but then a better chance of seeing moderate accumulations in Colorado, afternoon, evening, 1119 through 11, 1118 through 1119. In Tahoe, maybe some light snow today, better chance afternoon, evening, 11.17, 11.18, and a much better chance on 11.23 of seeing heavy snow accumulation. Um, let me take you to Alta. So this is the forecast mediogram for Alta. Um, so this is Friday, this is today, the 15th. There's Saturday in this column, there's Sunday right there. So if we go down to the snow column, and this is out at about 9,000 feet, um, forecasting snow coming in by 9, 10 o'clock tonight, and about six inches of accumulation at Alta at 9,000 feet. So likely this would be the case at Snowbird higher up and potentially five, six inches over at Solitude and Brighton as well. Um, but there's gonna be some wind today preceding this storm system, this front. Winds of roughly 25 to 45 miles per hour today out ahead of that thing and a high temp at about 9,000 feet of about 32. Then the temperatures will drop and Saturday will be a cooler day, higher humidity, more cloud cover, especially in the morning, and then conditions should improve in the afternoon. Okay, let me take you over to uh, Colorado. So here's the time height forecast for humidity. This is Vail Pass, so we'll focus on Vail Pass in Colorado. Um, you're looking at a slice of the atmosphere vertically for the next 72 to 80 hours of humidity. Timeline's at the bottom. You actually read that from right to left. Uh, and it's, it's mainly dominated by dry air. But you can see this front come through um, the afternoon of the 16th, the night of the 16th, into the morning of the 17th. Very shallow area of moisture. Not a lot of lift with this. It's in and it's out fast. And that's why I'm only expecting potentially a dusting of snow. In fact, here is the snow forecast for Vail Pass. And this has got about a tenth to maybe a half of an inch in some places. That's how brief and small and minor this event is as it passes through Colorado. Better chance of snow, like I said, in the Wasatch and the Tetons than anywhere in Colorado. All right, here's my jet stream forecast. By close of business today, you can see the trough supporting that storm system as it moves into the inner mountain. Here we are on Saturday the 16th. It's moving through. And on the tail end of it, there's some energy that may turn into a cutoff low coming out of New Mexico and Colorado. But like I've said the last couple of days, it's out of phase and it, it kind of just brushes northern New Mexico and extreme southern Colorado with snow and then it's gone because the next storm system, the trough is moving in. 11.18, 11.19, and then we've got another storm loading up over the Pacific. You can see it coming by 11.23, 11.24. It really hammers the West Coast. 
This delivers some heavy amounts of precip, heavy snowfall to the higher elevations from the Sierra to Oregon to Washington into BC. That's the way it looks right now. You can see the jet orientation. That should help to deliver some nice lift over the top of the uh, the Sierra. All right, let's put some um, let's put some precip on this. So the forecast radar and satellite. There it is by 5:30 this afternoon. Some light snow moving through Nevada, building into. Um, Utah in the Wasatch, the High Uintas, Idaho, Southwest Montana, and also parts of the Teton. So all those areas will have developing snowfall by this afternoon tonight. By tomorrow morning, many of the same areas. Then by 11, 16 in the afternoon, you can see just a little bit of blue over parts of the western slope of Colorado. Again, minor, fast moving, shallow moisture, not much lift out of here. Here comes that southern track low from New Mexico and Colorado. Again, just brushing northern New Mexico and southern Colorado with some snow. Next storm system already coming in on its coattails, 1118, 1119, coming right down through the Inner Mountain in Colorado with a quick shot of snow. And here comes that stronger storm system. Look at it just hitting the west coast for days. 1120, 1121, 1122, and all the way into 1123. Look at the Sierra getting hit, and then eventually that storm makes its move into the northern tier. So what kind of snow am I talking about? Well, here's my forecast all of today through tomorrow. So we'll start in, in Utah, anywhere from three to six inches, five or six big and little Cottonwood Canyons, probably three Park City, Deer Valley, Snow Basin, uh, maybe three to four Powder Mountain. Um, in Colorado, it's all pretty light. Like I said, a tenth to an inch to maybe half an inch, maybe an inch in some places. Um, in California, it's light one to two. Three to six up over the uh, the Tetons, the Wind Rivers, Yellowstone, and Big Sky, up to Bridger Bowl. Um, probably four to eight up there through parts of Washington, the High Cascades, the Volcanoes, the Coastal Range of BC, and one to four through interior BC. Um, second time frame is much more interesting. So there is some light snow through Colorado and northern New Mexico, probably three to six inches during this time period, maybe a seven inch amount. Um, a lot of that actually comes from that, uh, that storm system. Uh, on 1119 as it passes through. Um, then what we're looking at, maybe that southern track low delivers a little bit to northern New Mexico and southern Colorado. Then as we look down the road, um, that big storm system is what delivers feet of snow to the west coast. So I've got, you know, 8 to 12 for parts of Tahoe and Mammoth, but quite a bit more for Shasta to Mount Ashland, to Bachelor, to Hood, to Timberline, to Rainier, to Crystal, all the way up to Baker and Whistler, we're looking at feet of potential snowfall accumulation if this storm holds, if it stays on track. And that would blow snow into the interior. Through parts of central and northern Idaho, we're looking at good totals. And in interior BC would also be a pretty significant beneficiary of this type of pattern with potentially one, two, three feet of accumulation. Downstream of that in the Tetons and Big Sky, probably 8 to 12 inches. So you can see the potential here. Some light snow through the interior, but much heavier snow along the coast with some effects, some blow off, some runover, some spillover for the interior states, the northern tier of states there through uh, from 1117 through 1124. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this Friday morning mountain weather update. I appreciate you tuning in here. Take care and have a great day.